excited about what God's about to do. You are with us, Jen. It's going to be a great, great time, isn't it? And it's always good to be in the house of the Lord. And I believe that every single one of you that have tuned in today are in for a great treat. We are going to praise God with everything that's on the inside of us. So thank you for being a part of this broadcast. I know it's going to be two very powerful hours. Hallelujah. I'm just so blessed what God's going to do. I'm excited. Something's about to happen. And uh, Eddie, great to have you with us. Are you ready? I am so ready. So good to be with Faith TV today. My spirit is stirred about what God's going to do for these two hours. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a great, great time. Welcome back. It's long overdue. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's long overdue. And uh, we just want to welcome you back to Naples, Florida. I know you've traveled through the night to be with us. <laughs> and uh, we're in for a great time. So come on, put a God, big God bless you out there. Welcome. Wherever you are right now, say welcome to Eddie James and the team. It's truly going to be a glorious, glorious day right here and a marvelous two hours with you all across Africa, all around the world. You welcome on the UK feed. Welcome right here in the United States of America. Direct TV, this is Eddie James Ministries. And uh, it's going to be a glorious time that we're going to have with you. So, Jen, what's your expectancy for today? Oh, well, my, my expectation is always high because I know that the presence of God is in this place. And, you know, something that we have always regarded as a priority for this network and even for our lives personally is that the Holy Spirit's agenda would be exactly what comes across come on, on these come broadcasts. On, that's right. So I do believe that God wants to see you free. He wants to see you established in His truth today. And so as you open up your heart to receive the fullness of what He has for you, I do believe you will not be disappointed. I know that the Holy Spirit is more powerful than anything you're facing, anything that you've come out of, and everything that you're going into. He is the one who will get you to walk in a place of peace and joy and fullness. In fact, that's what the Kingdom of God is all about. It's righteousness, peace and the joy of the Holy Spirit. And so I do believe that that's exactly what is going to come across during these two hours we have with you. All right, come on, let us know where you're watching from. Come on, put it in the comment section. Welcome to you, great to have you with us. I want I want you to get a comment in Facebook, YouTube, and Faith Now. Wherever you're watching, we want to hear from you. Let us know what country, let us know what city, and let us know what God's about to do. If you have an expectancy in your heart today, right there, I'm expecting for what God is going to do in worship today. I'm expecting for what He's going to do in the praise. I'm expecting. Why? Because I'm telling you, God is going to meet you at the place, a very special place. We're going to be talking to Eddie in a couple of moments. He's going to uh, bring the Word and uh, we're going to worship. It's just going to be a flow today. All right, so I know things look a little different, normal to what we normally do at the table, but that's because it's a worship flow today. You are live with us, Naples, Florida, around the whole wide world. So Eddie James, thank you for coming. And thank you for being with us. We got a lot to talk about. <laughs> no, we're going to praise a little bit more. So are you ready to praise the Lord? Let's go, let's go. <laughs> All right, come on, guys. Let's take it away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Welcome, Eddie James. Hallelujah. It will be a glorious day. It, in fact, it was a glorious day when he called my name and I came running out of that grave. I was buried beneath my shame. Who could carry that kind of weight? It was my tomb till I met you. And I was breathing, but not alive. Huh. 
all my failures I try to hide and it was my too till I met you God and you called my name and I ran out of that grave out of the darkness into your glorious day if that's your story come on say you called my name and I ran out of that grave out of the darkness into your glorious day come on if that's your testimony put your hands together and celebrate the one who called you out of the grave now your mercy has saved my soul and your freedom is all that I know the old made new Jesus when I met you hallelujah you called my name and I ran out of that grave out of the darkness into your glorious day are you glad about that today oh you call my name and i ran out of that grave out of the darkness into your glorious day come on put those hands together celebrate the one who rose you from that grave come on I need a shelter, I was an orphan, but you called me a citizen of heaven. I needed rescue, I was an orphan, but you called me a citizen of heaven. When I was broken, you were my healing, and your love is the air that I'm breathing. I have a future, my eyes are open, and when you call my name, into your glorious day Jesus you called my name and I ran out of that grave you called my name and I ran out of that I needed rescue my sin was heavy but chains break at the weight of your glory I need a shelter I was an orphan but you called me a citizen of heaven when I was broken you were my healing and your love is the air that I'm breathing I have a future my eyes are open when you caught my name I ran out of that grave out of the darkness into your glorious day Jesus you call my name and I ran out of that grave are you glad that you were running out today out of the darkness into your glory for he picked me up and turned me around placed my feet on solid ground I've been the master I've been the savior because he healed my heart he changed my name forever master i think the savior i thank god come on clap your hands come on oh we celebrate you jesus we give you glory today come on somebody in your living room in your kitchen give god a great praise celebrate him today wandering into the night i'm wanting a place to hide this weary soul bag of bones uh. I tried with all my might I could not win this fight I'm slowly drifting a vagabond hey. just when I ran out of the road I met a man I didn't know and he told me that I was not alone. Oh, oh, oh. He picked me up, he turned me around, he placed my feet on solid ground. I think 
the master and I've been the savior because he healed my heart. He changed my name forever free. I'm not the same. I've been the master and I've been the savior. I thank God. Hey, somebody celebrate Jesus today. Magnify the Lord this morning. Hey, I love this. I cannot deny what I've seen. I've got no choice but to believe. My doubts are burning like ashes in the wind. Uh, so, so long to my old friends. Burning and bitterness. You can just keep it moving. <laughs> no, you're not welcome here. From now till I walk the streets of gold, I'll sing of how you saved my soul. This wayward son has found his way back home. Oh, he picked me up, he turned me around, he placed my feet on solid ground. I thank the master and I thank the savior because he healed my heart and he changed my name for free I'm not the same I think the master and I think the Savior I thank God if you're glad to be free if you're glad that he changed your name you want to celebrate Jesus magnify your Redeemer praise the one who rescued you today hey hell lost another one I am free <laughs> I am free Come on, declare that today. Come on. Hell lost another one. I am free. I am. Oh, you ought to declare this wherever you are. Come on. Hell lost another one. I am free. I am free. I am free. Yes. Hell lost another one. I am free. I am free. Come on. I want you to say it with loud. Come on, say it. Hell lost another one. I am free. I am free. I am free. Hell lost another one. I am free. I am free. I am free. Say, hell lost another one. I am free. I am free. I am free. Hell lost another one. I am free. I am free. I am free. So get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Come on, get up, get up, get up. I'm calling you to get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Come on, say, get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Come on, everybody, say, get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. God is calling you to get up out of that grave of depression, out of that grave of anxiety, out of that grave of regret, out of that grave of shame, out of that grave of fear. He's calling you today to get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Get up, get up, get up. Get up out of that grave. Come on and get up, get up, get up, get up out of that grave. Get up, hey, because he picked me up, turned me around, placed my feet on solid ground. I think the master and I think the savior. He healed my heart, he changed my name forever free. I'm not the same, I think the master. The Savior, I thank God. <laughs> oh, come on, celebrate Jesus. Glory, glory. <laughs> now, I just believe that today, as we're celebrating an open heaven for these two hours, that this will be your season of breakthrough. Somebody shout, breakthrough. Come on, shout it again, breakthrough. Come on, put your hands together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This 
is your hour. This is your season of breakthrough. I want you to celebrate the God of your breakthrough. Celebrate him wherever you are in this world. I want you to believe that God of the breakthrough is with you today. Come on. You are the undefeated one, my light and my salvation. When the wicked, my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Hey, yeah, yeah. You have authority that the devil is defeated in your life today. Yeah, yeah. Omnipotent, almighty defender, my victory, my refuge, the one I run to. You are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough. Come on, clap your hands. Let's magnify the name of the Lord. Oh, breakthrough. You are the God of the breakthrough. When I can't see my way through and I really don't know what to do, I look to you. Breakthrough. Walls fall down when I shout through. Strongholds break when I pray through. So I'm going to praise you. You are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough. Somebody shout breakthrough. Yeah. You are the undefeated one. My light and my salvation. When the wicked, my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh. They stumbled and fell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Omnipotent, almighty, defender, my victory, my refuge, the one I run to. You are the God, and you are the God of the breakthrough. If you believe that today, come on, clap your hands up high. Come on, declare it. Breakthrough. You are the God of the breakthrough. When I can't see my way through, and I really don't know what to do, I look to you. Breakthrough walls fall down when I shout through strongholds break when I pray through. So I'm gonna praise you. You are the God, you are the God of the breakthrough. You are the God of the breakthrough. When I can't see my way through, and I really don't know what to do. God, I look to you for my breakthrough. Walls fall down when I shout through. And stronghold break when I pray through. So I'm going to praise you. You are the God. Breakthrough in my heart. Breakthrough in my mind. Breakthrough in my spirit. Breakthrough in my soul. Breakthrough in my weakness. Breakthrough in my struggle. You are the God. You are the God of my breakthrough when I worship. Breakthrough when I praise. Breakthrough when I lift. Glorify your name. Breakthrough when I dance. Breakthrough when I shout. You are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough in my heart. Breakthrough in my mind. Breakthrough in my spirit. Breakthrough in my soul. Breakthrough in my weakness. Breakthrough in my struggle. You are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough when I worship. Breakthrough when I praise. Breakthrough when I lift and glorify your name. Breakthrough when I dance. Breakthrough when I shout. You are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough in my heart. Breakthrough in my mind. Breakthrough in my spirit. Breakthrough in my soul. Breakthrough in my weakness. Even in my struggle. You are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough when I worship. Breakthrough when I praise. Breakthrough when I lift. Glorify your name. Breakthrough when I dance. Breakthrough when I shout. You are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough. 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 Come on, declare that. Decree it. And shout it. Hold for it. You are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough. Shout it louder. Breakthrough. Come on, say breakthrough. Breakthrough. Declare it. Break. Decree it. Break. Prophesy it. You are the God. You are the God of the breakthrough. Come on, praise the God of your breakthrough. Come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Eddie James, God of the breakthrough. Come on, Eddie, join us over here. Wow, what a time we are having. I just 
There's something about you. You carry something so powerful. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I'm just, listen, listen. Type in the comment section today. Type there right now. Tonight is my breakthrough. All right, yeah. type there. If it's daytime where you're watching anywhere in the United States of America, say today is my breakthrough. If you're watching on the repeat, say today is my breakthrough. Yes. Something's about yes. to change in your life. Yes. And uh, I, I'm excited about it. God's going to be doing something incredible, something amazing. And uh, Eddie James, thank you for being with us. <laughs> wow. Wow. What a... <laughs> you, you love that song as much as I do, don't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Come yes, on. Sir. It speaks so much to yeah. the power of the Holy Spirit yeah. in your life when you're feeling like you're up against something that won't move, yeah. something that won't break, something that seems impossible to overcome. That's when God shows up and shows you His power to break through the most difficult of circumstances. It's happened in my life over and over again. That's why I wrote the song. That's why I love that song, because He truly is the God of your breakthrough. Well, I tell you, I tell you something. You own that song, all right? You, 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 you take ownership of it, and uh, I, I tell you, you know, just your ministry, and, and this is what I want people to understand as well. We, we're going to be talking a lot tonight. Uh, just about what God's doing all over. But uh, I want you to realize something. I want you to realize that, that what God is doing through your ministry is far more than just music. Yes. It's far more than just a song. It's, it's far more, I, I, I mean, you know, everyone knows you as Eddie James, this amazing artist, singer, but there's Eddie James, the minister. Yes, sir. And uh, that's what I want people to appreciate and understand uh, even tonight God has a word for you. God has a challenge for you. And yes, you might use worship and you might use uh, praise and, and, and write music, but there's so much more happening behind the scenes in what God's doing in your life. Yes, sir. So one of the things that I want uh, the, the people that are watching to, to just be encouraged by is the work that God has given us that is really bringing breakthrough, particularly to high school and college age yeah. youth yeah. that are coming from dark and broken situations. Uh, we have young people that we rescue. We have a program called Dream Life. And right. In Dream Life, there are young people coming from drug addiction, coming from gang life, coming from living in the streets, coming from very broken situations. And for them to sustain their freedom, we know where the real power is. Right. The power right. is in Jesus. The power is in His name, in His blood. And I can't tell you how amazing it is to see these young ones come into our care. I did, just lives have been just destroyed through the streets, through gangs and all of that. And then to see the God of the breakthrough breakthrough for them. Wow. It's been amazing. Wow, wow. <laughs> I, I, I want, you know, I really want you to go to eddiejames.com and uh, the details will come on your screen. I, I really want you to understand something you, you, you know, Eddie's ministry is impacting lives that yours and I's mind would never impact. Mm. And uh, you were telling us a testimony even before, and Jen, that just really blessed us. Uh, that testimony about one of the young men that's even with you uh, right now of, of, of what he came out of and, and what God's doing in his life and the total turnaround. It's been incredible. His name is Ezekiel. And in 2015, when we first met him, he was 18. Uh, going on 19 years old, and he was in uh, the Crips gang here in uh, New York. Yeah. Uh, and um, two days before we got there, he was in a fight with a rivalry gang, and they tried to decapitate him. They tried to cut his head off. Um, you can see the scar still on his neck from that moment. And uh, he had a praying grandfather. And two days after that experience that he had, he was in the hospital, still in the hospital. His grandfather took him from the hospital. He, we were in town during, that, right, the, during right. that time. And he brought his grandson from the hospital to our service because he was truly believing for a breakthrough Come for on. his Come family. On. So he brought his grandson to that service. That night, he had an encounter with God that transformed his life. He gave his life to Jesus the very next day. We grabbed him, we took him with us, and uh, he stayed with us for about a year and a half. He eventually went back, fell into some trouble, and had to go to prison for almost six years. He got cut up and f fought real bad in prison. And after he was released from prison, he was addicted to cocaine and fentanyl 
for two and a half years. Now, for people around the world who may not know the impact of fentanyl, it's the number one killer today in America. It's destroying people, killing people. Like, it's amazing. It's, it's horrifying how bad this drug is ripping people's lives right, apart. Right. He overdosed on fentanyl, and they tried to bring him back to life five, four different times. The fifth time, the doctor said, the paramedic said, we're not going to help you. We're not going to do this. But God brought him back to life. He eventually came back to our ministry nine months ago. He's been clean and delivered and set uh, free. Come on, come and on. And is one of the most praying, one of the most going after God young men we have on our team today. Wow. It's just a miracle that he's even alive today. Wow, wow. Well, I mean, when you talk of that scar on his neck, I mean, that, that that's almost from the grave. Yes. I mean, literally, from, from death itself, that it's God has right. restored him. Yeah. More, more than once. The doctor said they don't know how he lived through that. They, yeah. he, he should have been dead. But God did it, did a breakthrough for him. And, and I want to encourage praying grandparents and praying parents because he's standing because of somebody's prayers. Don't stop praying for your children. Don't stop praying for your grandchildren. It may not seem like things are happening when you're praying, but I'm telling you, God is moving on your behalf. The God of the breakthrough will keep his promise. He will come through for you. Wow, wow, Amen. wow. Now, Eddie, I, I, I want to just discuss here for a moment. I mean, the, the ministry itself, uh, the Dream Life Center and, 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 yes, and what, I mean, God's doing amazing things there through your ministry. Mm -hmm. um, but you've also been on a journey yourself yes, over, uh, it's, it's been a little while since you've been with us yes, sir. On, on the program and, and you've been through an amazing journey. And Jenny and I have watched you and uh, we've been following and I've been texting you, <laughs> yes, finding sir. out how it's going. But you, you, you took yourself for one year and you said in that year, something had to change in your life and uh, you had to work. T tell us a little bit about that yes, story so, uh, and your the, journey. Yes, sir. So toward the end of 2022, the health challenges that I was already having came to a really, uh, came to a head, it came to yeah. a really bad place. And uh, so I knew in 2023, I needed to take a moment and just take this season of my life and get myself right. in a better position health-wise. Uh, health and so in March 20 and 23, we got opened up a door for us to go to Hot Springs, Arkansas. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful family there. Felt little of the Lord to help underwrite my entire year off. Praise God. And uh, they took uh, they took care of my team. They've got a place for my guys, a place for the girls. Because one of my biggest concerns is, Lord, I have all these young people that I'm mentoring, I'm caring for, I'm responsible for. Yeah, How am I yeah. going to care for them if I'm, you know, I'm not traveling, I'm not bringing awareness and allowing people to support it? Right. What right. am I going to do? But I knew I couldn't do it if I'm not on the planet, if I didn't get my health together. Right. You know, so Lord, I'm in this tough spot. And the Lord opened up this door and brought us to Hot Springs, Arkansas. And I took about a year off. Um, in fact, this is my first uh, time out traveling globally. I'm, I'm, this is my second weekend, you know. Wow, and, uh, wow. And God has been so faithful. I went there 459 pounds. I'm about 320 now. Praise God. And uh, I've lost <laughs> about 140 or so pounds. I'm telling you, God wow. has been faithful. Wow. He's been so faithful. And it's been a... Uh, it's been a journey and I've learned so much through the journey because it's not just about weight or food thing. It was about sometimes, you know, you know, what I do with my dream life guys, you know, one of the ways they escape and medicate, deal with their stuff is they medicate it through drugs. Right. You know, for me, even though I'm praying, I'm seeking the Lord, but when I'm stressed or dealing with different things, I went to food. Right. You know, right. and I begin to realize right. that this journey that God had me on was not just about me dropping the weight physically, but dropping the weight internally. It's so good. You know, turning to God instead of turning to other things. So good. When I find myself in a challenging situation. You know, for the church, it's like, like food is that thing you could do because, you know, the Bible makes it, seems like it makes it okay. You know, you can just eat whatever, do whatever, because we're free and we just pray for it, whatever. But not to the destruction of our temple, you know. And so right. there are things that I'm learning, though, about me that, uh, I just, until this time taken off, I wouldn't have been able to see what was happening truly on the inside of my heart. And so it, the journey has been glorious and I'm grateful for the weight loss, but I'm really grateful that I found a new Eddie James. Amen. You know? wow. <laughs> Praise God. Yeah. 
Yeah. So, you know, what is so wonderful about the gospel as well, and really just the message about Jesus is the moment we become born again, there's a whole identity change. Yes, yes. We get a completely new identity. Mm -hmm. And then it's the journey of every single day recognizing who we really are on the inside. Yeah, and true. who is living on the inside of us. Um, and I find it makes such a difference in everything that we say and everything we minister. Um, for those of you who are watching that even you, I know there's many ministers of the gospel that listen as well. Uh, lots of you that are pastors and that you have the responsibility like we all do. You know, God gives us a responsibility not just to preach and teach His Word and represent Him, but also people that are under us. And until we get to the realization that it has everything to do with learning how to depend on the Holy Spirit who lives in us, and not on our own means or, you know, try to be so strong and you try to be so disciplined and you try, and, but it's got nothing to do with that. Jesus modeled that for us, didn't He? He just completely modeled every, every night He was out there, every, every early morning He was up on His own with His Father and He modeled for us what it is to live in complete dependency on the Holy Spirit. I can't tell you how true <laughs> that it really is, especially for people who are ministers and lovers of Jesus. We don't even realize sometimes we depend on things outside of Him. We don't even realize we're doing it. I didn't realize I was doing it. Right. I'm teaching, trust in the Lord. Go to Him for everything and all your ways acknowledge Him. Cast your cares on Him. Yep. You're teaching that and you think you're doing it. Yep. And then there are areas of your life you're like, oh God. Praise God. For thank that. you for revealing to me that I'm not <laughs> where I think I am, exactly. you know? And you know what I keep on thinking about? It's, and I do believe we're living in the very last of the last days. Yes, yes, I agree. And it could be at any moment. There is nothing that still has to happen before Jesus comes back for His I church. Agree. that's right. And I keep thinking of the moment straight after that. You know, I know there's a marriage feast of the Lamb, <laughs> but there is the day that every single one of us, and it's so soon that we will stand before Jesus and give account. And it's not so much, and I, I want to, because especially from what you're just sharing now, your testimony now, I was actually speaking to the Lord um, about this in the car here this morning as well. You know, you could come from a perspective of, I'm going to see Him, I'm going to stand before Him anytime now and give account for every thought, every word, every action. And you can come from the perspective of all the things I got wrong. <laughs> you know, it's like, Check, put you know the checklist of what did I did right, what did I do right, what did I do wrong, you know, and it's a horrible place to be in. Yes. Or you can come from this perspective of you know what Jesus completely saved me. I had nothing to bring, nothing to give. He took me and he put himself on the inside of me. Yes. He completely changed who I am. Got nothing to do with me, but everything to do with him. Yes. And so every day of my life, I wake up knowing. Lord Jesus, You are my victory today. Mm -hmm. You are my wisdom. You are my strength. You are everything good on the inside of me. <laughs> and so I'm going to depend that moment by moment, I just hear You. I read about You. Yep. I know what Your will is just by You being on the inside of me. Yes. And knowing that everything I did today, it has to come from the perspective of being so in love with Him because He's so good to me. And so every word that comes out is going to be seasoned by His goodness to me. It's going to be seasoned by how wonderful and gracious and merciful He is. Yes. And you know, then when I stand before Him, I can say, Lord, I never depended on myself here. You gave me the words. You gave me the joy. You gave me the peace. And that's why even when you get the reward, it ends up turning around and giving it straight back to Him. Right. Right. You lay it at His feet, that's right. That's it, yeah. because we've learned that my whole Christian existence has got everything to do with I'm completely dependent on Him. And it takes the pressure off of you Absolutely. to try to, f to check the list and make sure it's right and make sure you do all the right stuff. Can't do it. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm still in that journey of really getting that. Because especially, you know, you feel responsible for so many things and you got to do this, you got to do this. And you're like, oh God, oh God. And if you're not careful, you think it's all on you. 
It's really all on him. It is. You're just following him. It is. You're just a servant to him. All the pressure's off of you. You don't have to try to make wins and figure it out. Just trust. Yeah. And that's so difficult sometimes. Well, it's a moment by moment obedience. Yeah. Yes, it? yes, yes. Yeah. It's a moment by moment obedience. It's before I say something, just to hear what he has to say first. You know, before I do so something good. or whatever, check out my motives. Okay, what, what is the motive oh, of me doing God. this? And just so doing that little, it's like a tweaking, just an alignment with coming into tune or into alignment with His Holy Spirit. Yes. And then just doing what He tells you. <laughs> that's simple. It's an obedience. Yeah, yeah. And I believe that that's what we're going to be held accountable for. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Is, did I listen and just do what He told me? Yes, to? yes. Because He says that His Holy Spirit is all the time working on the inside of us for our prospering. Yep. Yep. So His Holy Spirit is going to give you the strength you need to do that thing. Mm. And He'll give you the wisdom you need to do that task. Yes, yes. Because He would have never given it to you unless you already had an answer for that. So for every problem you're facing, He's already got the answer and it's in yes, your spirit already. Yes, it's not already even something there. you have to beg or plead for. It's something He's already put on the inside of you because He is wisdom. And so really, I, that's why I'm so, so grateful for the time that we have today with every song that you sing, every word that you sing, it's a testimony of a dependence on the oh, God who's already right. got it all for you. Yes. Right. And all I have to do is yield to that. Oh, hallelujah. And walk in obedience to it. It's beautiful. That is amazing. You know, that's what these two hours is all about. Yes, sir. That's why we come and we set these two hours aside for you in your home, wherever you are as well. And uh, I'm, I'm looking at hundreds of people online right now. Eddie, I mean, there's so many comments. They're just flying over here, uh, both YouTube, Facebook, and, uh, and even Faith Now. I mean, there's just people watching literally all over the world, connected with us. And, I, and we want these times to be times of intimacy. I, I loved what uh, Prophet Gabbard spoke about yesterday, even in the service. And uh, the direction of where we've been going as a ministry, we've come to understand the importance of intimacy with Him. Yes. Of, of having that place of relationship where, where we are one with Him. He's within us. We are within Him. Yes. We are, we are united in a way that... that Inseparable. That, yeah, you, you cannot separate what God has done. And, when you think about that, all you want to do is, is, is be in His presence. I mean, this morning we were praying as a team and, uh, you, you know, we get together every day and pray. And even in the time of prayer this morning, I just felt the presence of the Lord. Mm -hmm. it's, like, it's like God is, God is just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now I know He's on the inside of us, but it, you, you can almost feel Him around you. You can almost feel Him in the, in the area, in, the, in this room. You, you, yes, you know, sir. I, yes, sir. I know there's manifestations of the glory of God and the cloud of His glory and all that of old and, and all of that. But even right now in the, in, the, in the presence of the Lord, there's everything that you need. What we've got to do is we've got to desire that point of the presence. We've got to push in. We've got to say, this is what I want. This is the, the walk of intimacy that I want. Right. And, uh, and, and I don't know about you at home. Are you ready? Are you, are you ready for God to move? Are you ready for God to do something in your life? If you are, just type there quickly, say, I'm ready for intimacy with Jesus. I, I'm ready, come on, just say, I'm ready. I'm ready to, to be in that place, that secret place of the Most High. I, I'm ready to push in. I'm ready to get into the flow tonight. I'm ready for all that God's got, because I know we're gonna worship you in a, in a couple of moments and, and we're going somewhere. But here I am and I'm, I'm looking at this and uh, we, we 102 days, away, Eddie, from Faith Revival 10, Faith Revival X in South Africa. <laughs> and uh, and, oh, and you, 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 you're going to be there with Oh, me. I can't wait. You, you're going to be there. I can't wait. I, I mean... It's going to be explosive Amen. open heaven. <laughs> it's going to be miracles. Yes, it is. Signs, wonders. Yeah, it's yeah, going to yeah. be amazing. Yes, it is. Come on. Oh, I cannot wait to come. Listen, 
If you're anywhere within a million miles from that place, you need to make a trip and be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be so crazy. The whole world needs to show up in South Africa during that time. Yeah. yeah it's yeah. going to be incredible. I can't wait. Yeah. It's, it's going to be a glorious time. And I, I, know, I know that many people, I mean, look at this. Look at the, how the screen's just rolling right now of people just saying, I'm ready. <laughs> I, I'm ready for what God's doing. I, I'm ready for what God's got for me. And, uh, and, and I'm, I'm excited about this because as I look at all of these people, as I look at, at all of these online, and uh, when we get into South Africa, I mean, here we are, 102 days to go. We're going to have 10 days, 10 hours a day in the presence <laughs> of the Lord. All right, 100 oh, hours, Eddie James, 100 oh. hours in the presence of the Lord. It's going to be marvelous. How can you not want to be there for that? Yeah. You've yeah. got to be there. Clear your schedule. Amen. Clear your schedule. Amen. There's no other place on the planet to be than right there Come in on. South Africa. At, at, at that time. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I know you're looking forward to it. And, and I know that every one of you are looking forward to it as well. But what would your challenge be to people out there? What, what are you expecting God to do? over those uh, week of meetings right there in, in East London, South Africa? I am expecting, one, a huge harvest. I believe that there are going to be souls that are coming to the kingdom. I believe that Jesus is going to wreck some people's lives. I also believe that there's going to be an army of people being, being raised up as revivalists. Right. Um, I believe that there are going to be people marked to go and change their world. Amen for Jesus. I believe there's going to be people who are going to be uh, impartation for new songs, new books, uh, business. I mean, I just think that there's going to be such a impartation. Right. That's gonna, if you, man, if y'all missed this, I really believe you're missing a great moment for your destiny to be unlocked. Because Come I on. believe that there's going to be some unlocking of, of dreams and visions and purposes and destinies that are going to happen during that time. Right. There are moments in your life that I believe are defining moments. Moments. Right, this is going to right. be a defining moment for so many who are going to come to that to that week of revival and those 100 hours of just being saturated <laughs> in the presence of God. Yeah. You're going to leave this so transformed. Yes. It's going to be like Moses yeah, yeah, on the yeah. mountain. He comes down glowing. You know, yes. you're going to leave out of there glowing in Jesus' name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, listen, it's all happening from the 21st of June. Till the 30th of June, we are going to worship the Lord yeah, in a moment, but you don't want to miss Revival X. Because of the blood of Jesus Christ, we walk victorious. When His fame spreads, multitudes come. That's the birth of revival. We are kings and priests, and we are taking back the dominion. Faith begins where the will of God is known. Back to the Bible. We need to know the Word of God. This is the sound of revival. Revival is not quiet. Revival is loud. Come on. This is a spirit flow. You can't grab it with your mind. You have to grab it with your heart. I know that I have every devil under my feet. Revival X is coming to you. All right, there we have it. 100 hours. <laughs> All right. 10 hours a day, 10 days in the presence of the Lord. And uh, we're going to be having over 10 days, we're going to be having 30 meetings. All right? It, <laughs> it's it's going to be glorious. Now, Get now, away. Your, your team are coming out with you. There's a number of them coming. We, we're excited about oh, yes. that. Oh, yeah. And uh, we're going to be capturing the sound of heaven. <laughs> and the open heaven in that great faith. Yes, dark. yes, yes. We're going to be doing some new songs. We're going to be recording some new material. And I believe that the sound, there's going to be a synergy of sounds between America and South Africa. Please. Come on. That I believe is going to penetrate the darkness and bring a global harvest. And there's going to be people leading, take use these songs to lead worship all over the globe. So I'm so excited about it. Oh, well, <laughs> you got me excited. <laughs> all right, I yes, can't sir. wait. You know what is so exciting as well is that um, even the location, you yeah. know, being the dome, um, there has already been an atmosphere that is cultivated in that place. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Sure, I can actually. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You know, for, um, for a long time, yeah. for a long time, <clears throat> I don't even know why I'm getting choked up here, but 
for so long, the heart of the people is to have the presence of God more real there than anything else. And so in the worship, uh, in the prayer times, you know that people come there every single day and pray. And it started with just a small group, but now there's hundreds wow. every single day wow. that pray in that building. Wow. Just recently, there's been an, uh, we had an all night prayer there. And there was how many hundreds that came there? Well, at 4.30 in the morning, I mean, hundreds came through the door. But Eddie, at 4.30 a.m., there were 745 people or something oh my praying God. at 4.30 a.m. They were giving me the clock count every hour, how many people were there. They were doing like a head count just to see. I mean, and it was 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. was the prayer time. And I mean, at, at 4.30 a.m., there were well over 700 people praying. That is a great faith. Incredible. Incredible. So I, I mean, this, I, is I, I this is what God's doing. This is what God's doing. What we trying to bring across is that it's wonderful to say we have 10 hours a day for 10 days in the presence of God, or we're not even saying that, just at the Great Faith Dome, come along. We're going to have Eddie James and the band and all different you know, things that are going to be taking place. And all of that is great. But the actual gift of coming to that place is going to be the gift of the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes. And us encountering Him. That is more uh, on our hearts than anything else that's going to take place there. And I know that the theme in Exodus was the same thing with Moses. And I feel that same pull from the Holy Ghost. Where, where Moses even said to God, don't go, don't, you know, don't send an, an angel with us. We don't, we don't want an angel. We want you. We want you. <laughs> and there is nothing to substitute the presence of God. And he even said, God, what is going to distinguish us from amongst anybody other, or any other people in this world if it, if it wasn't your presence? Mm. And so I really do believe that those of you, and I know so many hundreds of people have already responded and said that we are going to make an effort to be there over this time in June, um, which is awesome. But can I ask that you fall on your face before the Lord? Yeah, be ready. And that you <laughs> pray that already there'll be nothing Come of on. ourselves, That's right. but that it'll be 100% His agenda for us that oh, takes place. Yeah, yeah. That is holy ground. It is holy ground. And I know that everything is going to be fulfilled in this year. The Word of God says that Jesus is held back from in the heavens. He's held back from literally appearing because the fulfillment, the absolute fulfillment of everything that was prophesied has to take place. And this is the year that that is gonna take place. I right. believe right. that the fulfillment of every promise will take place Hallelujah. in this very year. And the very time that we're together in that dome is going to be that fulfillment. It's going to be the absolute encountering of the fullness of the Holy Spirit in every area we could have ever dreamed or imagined. But that already begins now. It already begins now, even just in our anticipation of going there. Do you know when the Israelites would have to come to those feasts in Jerusalem and it would be like a whole journey that they had to make. Wow. But you know, even in that journey, there were things that they were doing to prepare their hearts right. for that right. feast. It wasn't just coming and then suddenly the feast is there. Mm. It is just knowing, oh, let's get ready for that journey. And every step that they took, it was a laying down of something Come on. to prepare themselves for what they were going to experience even in that feast. Even when you have to take one step at a time to ascend the temple steps before you walk into that place. <laughs> Do you know, every Psalm is, there's a Psalm of Ascension. It's like, it's every time, it's a, it's a stepping forward one step at a time, anticipating what we're about to receive in the Holy of Holies. That's right. And I do know that the Word says that it's no longer a temple that is built, that the temple is dwelling on the inside on. of us. Yes. Come on. But how much more are we going to kill the flesh to get to the place that the only thing that dominates you day by day, moment by moment, is the Spirit of God in the Holy of Holies that you carry. 
This is the greatest time to be alive. Mm. Where we can literally step into at any time, at any moment, the fullness of the presence yeah. of God. Yeah. This is going to be the greatest year you lived. That's right. <laughs> you, you know, I was speaking just before we came on the program, I was speaking to evangelist Brian Bolt, great evangelist out in California. And uh, I met him in Nashville just a couple of weeks ago and we were talking. And he said to me, Andre, he said, I'm coming, I'm bringing a small team with me. He said, I, I can't miss June. I, I got to be there. I, I'm, I'm coming out. And he said, I'm coming out. And, and then I told him the vision, Eddie, we, we're going to be giving a motor car away every night. The Lord spoke to me about giving 10 motor cars wow. over the uh, 10 days of meetings, the 100 hours. And, um, and I spoke to him and I shared the vision with him. And today he texted me, he said, Andre, just tell me what to do. He said, I've got the money. I'm paying for one of those motor cars. Hallelujah. And uh, he said, I'm, I'm putting the seed in the ground. He said, now, he's a guest. He's a guest coming. Right. He said, Everyone's grabbed the vision. And he said, I'm, I'm paying. I want to be a blessing. I want to sow a seed of one of those cars to someone uh, in the meetings as well. And I've had many of the other speakers as well and what God's doing because now it's not about the giveaway of the car. It's about what God told us is going to be significant. It's going to make an impact in our nation like never before. All right. And, and it's going to be a move of the presence of God. And people say, well, how are you going to do it? That's all irrelevant. <laughs> how are we going to do it is irrelevant. <laughs> that, 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 the giving of the car is like an irrelevant. What I'm trying to show you is the heart of the men and the women of God that yes, are coming. Yes. That are coming because you, 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 your guys, your team, and people need to understand this. Your team have been believing God, saving the money. Yep trusting themselves to yes. come. These yes. are missionaries, I want you to understand. Yes. They've been collecting and working and doing everything to save that money for those airfares to be able to come. And uh, this is the heart of God. In, it's, like, it's like everybody from around the world is saying, I've got to be there. And um, I'm, I'm looking, yeah, my, my list, and, and, and my list is growing. We already have 13 confirmed speakers. Wow. 13. <laughs> Confirmed speakers, plus the worship team that yeah, you bring, yeah. mm -hmm. plus the faith band. All right, I've still got another five that are still busy confirming. All right, plus <laughs> there's others that have got to hear about it and saying, I want to come. And, um, uh, you, you know, this last week, Joan Norton from the, the UK, oh, praise she, she got hold of me. She said, Andre, I, I've got to be there. I've got to be there. I, I told her about the event. She said, she said, I'm coming. Joe Norton's booked her ticket. She texted me and said, I'm booking my tickets. I'm coming. And uh, Nancy Dufresne's going to be there. Uh, I, I mean, there, there's just so many men and women of God that are coming. And I'm looking at this, Eddie, and I'm saying maybe a hundred hours is too little. <laughs> All right, where everyone else, everyone else is already on a different, uh, uh, you know, when I said a hundred hours, everyone like, oh, Br br breathe like that, Aww. gasp. You know, I'm saying when God shows up, an hour That's all we want. could feel yeah. like a hundred, just one hour. Yeah. Yeah. And, and for me, I just want to be in the presence you, of the Lord. Jesus. And when I saw what took place with worship just recently in Kentucky and that breakout of worship, I said, Lord, there's uh, no reason. Can you imagine, Eddie uh, James, can you imagine we're recording an album and we're going to be doing all that new music and it's like the glory of God just shows up and says, uh, I'm here. I'm not going to say, well, we got to go now, Lord. You know, our time is up. We'll just keep going. So we will just keep flowing. That revival, worship revival, like an Asbury College yeah, yeah, yeah. breakout like that. Oh my God, the sound that'll come out of that. <laughs> the glory that will be revealed. In come on, that. come on. Oh, the miracles yeah, that will yeah. happen out of that. Oh, South Africa, get ready. Get ready, South get Africa. Ready. I'm telling you. Oh. I'm telling you. It's so here's my question, Eddie. If revival breaks out, like I believe it, are you might better stay? We might, we might stay there a month. Stuck. We might get stuck, yeah. <laughs> we might just stay there. So make sure your team pack an extra pair of, yeah. <laughs> of, of underwear, you know, whatever. Right, right. Okay, we might just be there a little longer than we, we all expect. Might. And I would love that. Come because on. my heart beats for that. 
Yeah. I'd rather see revival and cultivate that for most of the time than just do itinerary dates and just go to go and just have meetings for meetings. I want to see His glory. Right, absolutely. Come on. I want to see His glory. Come on. That's what I want it's to about. see His presence. Amen. I want to see Him move in such a way that it's undeniable right. heaven has kissed earth. Absolutely. Yeah. So I'm yeah. all in. I'm all in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. I'm all in. I'm in. I'm in. Listen. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know the hours. I'm just going with what God has said to us. Amen. But I know once you're there, once your feet walk into that faith dome, that holy ground, and I'm not saying this because it's anything special. I'm saying this because the ground has been prepared yes. for what God's doing. Constantly. Amen. And there is a preparation of the glory of God. Something Amen. has been happening over and over and over again. And I know that God is about to do something. We, we, we're going to go into a time of worship right now. Thank you, Jesus. We're going to get into that place of what I believe God's wanting us to do even right now. And Eddie, I, I want you to get ready. Would you just take us into the throne room today? Thank you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. Thank you. I, I just, are you ready? Are you ready at home? Thank you. Are you ready to go wherever God wants us to go? Are you ready just to grab a hold of the hem of his garment tonight? Listen, every day of these 102 days, Thank you. starting even this last week, Thank you, God. are going to be about his presence. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to be about intimacy with him. It's going to be about being in that place with him. We worship you. That's where we're going. We worship. That's what we're doing. And so I want you at home right now. We as Eddie gets ready to lead us from the piano. And we're going to go with the flow of worship right now. And then we're going to minister whatever God's got for you. However, we're going to flow out of this for this Thank remaining hour. You. Thank you. Let God move in your life. Thank Open up your heart right now. Hallelujah. So Eddie James, take us. Whatever you've got for us today. Praise Let's go Thank together. You. the Lord God Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. Holy. Holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, you are holy, holy, are you Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb, oh. Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy 
worthy is the Lamb. You are holy, holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb. Worthy is the Lamb. Lamb, you are holy, holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? Worthy is the Lamb, worthy is the Lamb. Thousands 
and thousands yes you who ha
Jesus. You are exalted, Jesus. We lift you high. We lift you high. We lift your name, Jesus. You are exalted, God. You are exalted, God. You are exalted, God. We give you praise. We call you Yeshua. your mercy never fails me all my days I've been held in your hand from the moment that I wake up until I lay my head I will sing of the goodness of God All my life you have been faithful All my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God And I love your voice You have led me through the fire In darkest night You are close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend I have lived in the goodness of God all oh, my life you have been faithful and all oh, my life you have been so so good with every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God is running out, is running after me. Your goodness is running after, is running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, running after me. Your goodness is running after running after, running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. And your goodness is running after, running after me. All my life you have been faithful. Woo. All my life you have been so God. 
on, sing it out today. Your goodness is running after, running after me. With my life laid down, I surrender now. I give you everything. Your goodness is running after, running after me. All my life you have been faithful. Come on, sing with everything you've got. And all my life you have been so, so good With every breath that I am able I will sing of the goodness of God yeah. I will sing of the goodness of the 
shout you can give him the greatest praise you can we serve a God that is so worthy hey. we serve Amen. a God that is so faithful thank you Jesus. come on you've got thank to you, know Lord. this good God we serve Amen. if you're tuning in and you have not met him come let me on, tell you something you're missing out on life in fact you're missing out on eternal life come on. because there's nobody like our God praise God there is nobody like our God he is a way maker. He is a miracle worker. He is a promise keeper. He is a light in darkness. In fact, he's everything you need. There is no need you have. Not only will he supply it, he is it. He yes. is love. Amen. He is joy. Amen. He is power. He yes. is freedom. He <laughs> is everything you need. Thank you, we serve a mighty God. Thank you. And I want to share something with you as we uh, begin to just get into a time where we begin to uh, share about God and share a word with you from his word and it's in the book of Acts chapter 12 and I want to read one verse out of Acts chapter 12 Acts chapter 12 verse 5 says this Peter therefore was kept in prison but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. Praise God. Prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. And then I want to go to verse 7. I want to just read this real quick. It says this, And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shone, shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side, and raised him up, saying, Arise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. And the angel said unto him, Gird thyself, and bind on thy sandals. And so he did. And he saith unto him, Cast thy garment about thee, and follow me. Verse 9 says, And he went out and followed him, and wist not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought, he saw a vision. So I wanted to take a moment and encourage someone that is watching this broadcast. We've been under an open heaven. I'm telling you, the presence Amen. of God is so thick right. here. It's right. so powerful here, Amen. what God is doing. And I know you can sense it in yes. your living room, in your kitchen, where you're at. We believe with all of our heart that the same spirit that is in this room on this broadcast is moving on your behalf, Amen. right where you're dwelling, right where you're living, right where you're at right now it's so powerful so stay locked in stay tuned in God is doing something great in your life right now what I love about this and I want you if you can I just want you to repeat this after me say this I don't care where you're at just declare this and repeat after me say no matter what no matter what you are facing you are facing no matter what you're dealing with no matter what you're dealing with if the enemy if has something locked up, something locked up. You, can pray you can pray it, it out, out. Hallelujah. Glory. you can pray it out Amen. I want to take it to an, another step repeat after me say if the enemy, if the enemy has, someone has someone you hold dear, you hold dear. Locked, up, locked up you, you can pray, pray them, them out, out. Oh, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Prayer is a weapon. Amen. 
prayer is a weapon. We find here in Acts uh, chapter 12 where Peter is found in prison, been doing the work of the kingdom, and he's found in prison. And the Bible says that the church prayed day and night. They cease not to pray for Peter. Peter is a man of God. Peter is... God, he's got an anointing on his life so strong that his shadow would heal people. He, could, he was the first preacher of the gospel. He was the one who preached in Acts chapter 2 and he birthed through that message. He birthed what we know today as the church. Peter is the one whom the hand of the Lord was on so strong that he went to Cornelius' house, a house that was a Gentile home. And while he was preaching, the Holy Ghost fell on people. and People were baptized in the Holy Ghost while he was preaching. I just sense that there's some pastors and leaders need to hear this. That there's going to be such an unction and such a fire come upon you that even while you're preaching this coming Sunday as you open up your mouth the Holy Ghost is going to fall so powerfully among the people of God that you're declaring the word to that people will get baptized with the Holy Ghost before an altar call is even made just as you're releasing his word people are being baptized with the Holy Spirit this is what this is the anointing that was on Peter and how many of you know that when the hand of God is on you like that the enemy is not going to sit silently by and just let you walk in the things of God and operate in the unctions of the Holy Spirit without a fight. <laughs> Some of you are trying to understand why is the warfare so, so strong in my life right now? Why am I under such great attack right now. It's because the enemy can see the glow of God on your life. There's such an anointing on you. There's such a power upon your life. And the enemy is not going to sit back and watch you wreak havoc, tearing down strongholds, destroying and dismantling the dark powers and evil spirits. He's not going to do that without some form of retaliation. The enemy is going to do everything he can to distract, to destroy, to disturb, to hinder the hand of God upon your life. And Peter has been walking in the things of God and his retaliation coming against him. He's in prison. But while he is in prison, people are praying. That's right. I want to encourage you with this word. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. If you're somebody, if you're next to somebody in your home or in your car or wherever you're at at work, tell somebody, don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. I love the example that this church gives us. When they did not stop, they ceased not day and night interceding on Peter's behalf praying and believing God for Peter to be set free from this moment that he is in prison. And while he is in prison, people are praying. And while they're praying, an angel shows up. A light shines in the prison. Now what's significant to me about this moment is that they don't realize, the church does not realize that God was doing things behind the scenes. That's right, that's right. And sometimes just like the song we were just singing, even when we don't see it, he's working. And even when we don't feel it, he's working. And there are some of you that you've been discouraged lately. You've, you've had a heart that's been heavy. Some of you have been borderline getting into some areas of doubt and unbelief because you can't see that your prayers are working. But I've got new, good news for you. Don't stop praying because God is working. Amen. Hallelujah. I said God is working. God is working. I know you can't see it, but God is working. While the church is praying, they can't see it, but angels are showing up. On, they can't see on. it, but chains are falling off. They can't see it, but angels are leading Peter out of that place of bondage and pri imprisonment. They can't see it, but as Peter is coming out of the prison, gates are opening up. They can't see it, but Peter is getting closer and closer to the place where they are praying. You can't see it, but the answer is getting closer and closer to you. You can't see it. You can't feel it. But God is working on your daughter. God is working on your son. God is working on your husband. God is working on your wife. God is working on those elders. God is working on those deacons. God is working on your worship team. God is working on that CEO. God is working on that banking bank account. God is working on those who you've been believing God for. You're praying for a miracle and it's it seems like it's not happening, but I've got good, good news for you. God is working on your behalf. Don't quit. Don't stop. 
in Daniel chapter 10, Daniel had been praying and, and warfare began to take place. It's 21 days, the prince of Persia was fighting and, and doing battle and Michael had to come and begin to help fight and bring release. Daniel did not stop praying. And, when, and by the time Michael got to Daniel, it had been 21 days. And the Lord spoke to Daniel through this angel Michael and told Daniel, from the first day you begin to pray, the answer was released to you. Some of you need to know that from the moment you started praying, God was already working. The answer was already being released. God had already released the promise. God had already released the answer. But you got to keep on praying because there's war in the spirit realm. But the war is rigged because you're on the winning side. Come on, come on. You are on the winning side. In Christ we win because we are more than conquerors. We are an overcomer by the blood of the Lamb. You need to know that because of Jesus, no weapon formed against you will prosper. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And if God be for us, and he is for us, who can be against us? You have victory. You have victory. Somebody shout victory. Victory victory, 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 victory. Shout it again. Victory, victory, victory. You have victory, but the key is don't stop praying. Don't stop praying. Luke 17 talks about the woman. The Bible in Luke 6, 17 opens up saying men ought to always pray and not faint or always pray and not give up. And it tells this parable of a woman who goes to a judge who is unjust. He, he doesn't give regard for man. He doesn't care for God. But because of her persistence, because she did not quit, because she did not give up, the judge gave her her request. Not because he even really cared. He didn't even have a heart for God didn't have a heart for her but because she was consistent because she was persistent she received what she was believing for she received her request and if an unjust judge is willing to give someone consistent with the requested how much more with the God who is just with the God who is righteous with the God who loves you so much that he would give his life for you will he not answer you and do what you need him to do Sometimes we find ourselves in situations where it seems so impossible and it seems like the prayer that we're praying, that we're praying for is so huge that maybe it's beyond us, but there is nothing too hard for God. There is nothing too hard for God. There is nothing too big for God. But God is calling you to a place of consistent intercession, consistent prayer. Hebrews 11 and 6 says that he is the rewarder of the diligent seeker. He that comes to God must believe that he is. And he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. God wants you to develop that muscle of diligence, that muscle of consistency, that muscle that says, I am not going to quit. I am not going to stop. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what voices come to my mind to cause me to not believe and to not have faith. I believe God. I'm going to stand on his promises for the promises of God are yes and amen. If he said it, he would do it. If we declared it, he would bring it to pass. We do not serve a God who will lie. We, he is not a man that he would lie. No, the son of man that he would repent. If he, if he spoke it, he will be faithful to his word. He will be faithful to his promise. So I want to encourage you today. Don't stop praying. Praise God. Don't give up. Don't quit. Don't stop praying. God is releasing angels on your behalf. Amen. God is releasing answers Amen. to the things that you've been believing God for. Your children will be saved. Your marriage will be mended. Your body will be healed. Those finances will come through. You're going to reap a harvest. Don't faint. Don't quit. Don't give up. I know that there's suffering right now, but the sufferings of this present time is not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us. Glory is on the way glory is on the way I said glory is on the way don't quit don't give up stay faithful to God in prayer stay faithful and consistent and stay diligent in your seeking of his face he promised 
that he would do it. And I don't know about you, but I know he's a God of his word. He would do what he said. No word will go out from him and return void. It will accomplish everything that it was sent to do. He's faithful. Come on, somebody shout, he's faithful. Somebody ought to put in the comments, he's faithful. Somebody just ought to testify to other people. Put it in the comments, he's faithful. There might be those listening right now that are wondering, is it really going to happen? Is it really going to take place? Listen, he's faithful. Put in the comments, he's faithful, so others can see just how faithful our God is. We serve a faithful God. In fact, Jeremiah said in Lamentations chapter 3, this I will call to my mind, therefore I have hope. It is because if it's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not they are new every morning great is thy faithfulness oh not only is he faithful but great is his faithfulness great is his is his faithfulness put in the comments my God is faithful my God is faithful my God is faithful keep on praying because he's faithful keep on believing because he's faithful don't quit because he's faithful don't give up because my God God is faithful. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we thank you, God, for your faithfulness. We thank you, God, that you are a man that will keep your word. Thank you, God, that you are a promise keeper. And I lift up, I pray right now for everybody watching. I thank you, God, for those who are tuning in right now. And I just declare, God, that we're going to receive emails and text messages and posts and people are going to be contacting Faith TV. They're going to be contacting and saying, look what God has done. God has met me. I know that he was faithful and I kept on praying and because I kept on seeking and, and believing God, God has brought the answer. I just declare and decree a flood of stories, a flood of testimonies are coming in, a flood of praise reports are going to be coming into this broadcast because we have declared today that the faithful God that you serve he's going to do what he said he's going to do what he promised God's going to pull your Peter out of that prison you can pray him out today you can pray your mind out pray your heart out pray your spirit out if you find yourself in a place of brokenness in a place of bondage listen don't stop praying pray it out Hallelujah. Pray it out. Pray your son out of that bondage. Pray your spouse out of that place of shame. Pray them out of depression. Pray them out of fear. Pray them out of anxiety. Pray them out of addiction. Pray them out of suicide. Pray them out. God, pray, pray your house out of poverty. Pray your, pray your house out of a place of shame and guilt. Pray your house out of that place of depression. Pray your house out of those strongholds that the enemy is wreaking havoc in your life. Pray it out in Jesus' name. God did it in Acts 12 and Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. He has no respect to person. He's just a respect of faith. Come on. Amen. Hold on to your faith and pray it Praise out God. in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God, we give you praise. We give you glory. I want to encourage you. Amen. I want to encourage you to put in the comments, pray it out. Put in the comments, pray it out. Put in that comment. Put in the comments, pray it out. I want, I want social media. I want this broadcast. I want it to flood with people from all over the world saying, pray it out, pray it out, pray it out. In fact, some of you got testimonies of how God has brought freedom and deliverance into your life or you pray for things and it came to pass give a brief testimony about that let others know listen because the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy it's a beautiful way of saying that what God has done for somebody else he'll do it for another so I want you to begin to testify God prayed me out of anger God prayed me out of fear God pray I prayed and God got me out of this situation in my life I prayed and God delivered my child I prayed and God delivered my my marriage I prayed and God delivered my finances come on I want you to encourage the believer. Encourage your brothers and sisters with your testimony, with your story. Put it in the comments. Pray it out. I know prayer works. I know prayer would do it. Prayer did it for me. The effectual, fervent prayers of the righteous availeth much. Be careful, be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God that passes understanding will keep your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. You can pray this thing out in Jesus' name. 
Hallelujah. Everywhere in the world that you're listening, I just want you to lift your voice. You release a sound in your living room. Release a sound in your kitchen. Release a sound of worship. Just begin to magnify the name of Jesus. Lift high the name of Jesus. God, we give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to just sing some more. We're going to just worship some more. And as you kind of, you know, put some things in the comments and encouraging other believers around the world, we're just going to speak the name of Jesus. We're just going to magnify him and glorify his name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say this with me. Your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name is life. Break every stronghold. Shine through the shadows. Burn like a fire. Hey, yeah, yeah. Your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name. Shine through the shadows, burn like a fire. One more time, sing it out. Oh, your name is power, your name is healing, your name is life. Hey, yeah, break every stronghold, shine through the shadows. Burn like a fire. Hey, shout Jesus from the mountain. Jesus in the streets. Jesus in the darkness over every enemy. Jesus for my family. I speak the whole. over every enemy Jesus for my family I speak the holy name Jesus hey, hey. Your name is power Your name is healing Your name is life shadows burn like a fire come on see that out again your name is power your name is healing and your name is alive hey, yeah. break every stronghold shine through the shadows burn like there's power in the mighty name of Jesus And every war he wages he will win And I'm not backing down from any giant For I know how this story is For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Belongs to you, Lord. James, Eddie, James, wow. I told you, this is not about worship. 
This is a preaching machine. <laughs> this is a Word of God on fire, man of God that's coming to join us in South Africa at the Great Faith Dome. And then he'll be able to stand and preach and move around that whole place and let the power of God just flood every single fiber of your being. I want us in closing tonight, and you're going to sing out for us in a moment, yeah, Eddie, but we've got a matter of minutes left. I want you to get your communion elements out right now, wherever you are. Get your bread and the cup just quickly. We do this every night, and tonight's been a phenomenal night of worship. Tonight's been a night of just the glory of God, and what a word. I I'm looking at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of you online said, pray it out, pray it out, pray it out. I'm looking here at, you know, Faith Now. I'm looking at YouTube. I'm looking at uh, Facebook. Facebook. I I'm just seeing what God's doing. And I know you across the networks of the world, all over Africa, the UK, and right here in America, have been blessed tonight. So Lord, we come before you. The power of our Word and our prayers is all wrapped up in the power of the cross. And we thank you for that. We thank you for the victory of the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the victory of your body that was broken and your blood that was shed. And we partake of this even right now in the name of Jesus. We come before you. And Lord, we release the power through these elements into every heart and every life. Receive your victory. The victory of the cross 2,000 years ago was received. Walk in it today in the name of Jesus. Take the bread now and the cup. Let's partake. The cup of blessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Now there's only one thing left to do, and that's for us to put a seed in the ground. We do this every single night. It's been a glorious night, just worshiping the Lord with Eddie James and the team. I want you to put a seed of gratitude, of just love for God in the ground right now. Details are coming on your screen till the end of the program. And I want you to just do what God's telling you to do. Go to our website, myfaith.tv. Put a seed right there. And uh, just say, Lord, I'm just so blessed. Don't, don't watch every night. And don't, I, well, we want you to watch every night. But what I'm saying is don't just watch and not participate. Don't just watch and not be a part of it with us. Carry this with us. Carry this fire with us till the ends of the earth. This is what God's doing. He's stirring our hearts. This is what the Lord's called Jenny and I to do around the whole wide world. This is what God's called Eddie James to do, is carry the fire and the power and the presence of the Lord all around the nations of the world. So I want you to do what God's telling you to do right now. Father, every giver, I speak blessing over every one of our partners right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for every seed that gets in the ground today. We thank you for blessing and breakthrough. We thank you for the victory of life and life abundant. And Lord, we put the seed into fertile ground tonight. We speak it blessed in the name of Jesus. That seed represents your miracle. Your miracle that you trust in God for in the area of your finances. That seed represents it. And so as you put it in the ground today, just put it in and say, I believe for my miracle. In the name of Jesus, your financial position is turning. The blessing of God has come upon you. You are praying it out and you're walking into all that God has for you. Eddie James, thank you for being with us. Amen. All right, team, thank you so much. It's been wonderful having all of you with us. We've just been absolutely blessed. And uh, thank you to Josh on the keys for backing Eddie. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for Jaden on the drums. You've been a blessing. And Dominique on the bass, you always a blessing. We love having you guys. Eddie James, come on, take us home with that same song. Flow with us. We'll see you tomorrow night. Jenny and I'll be back with you. We've got another powerful time. And don't forget, go to Eddie, Eddie's website as well. Please feel free, visit. Be a part of Dream Life Center. 
and be a part of the vision of what God is doing all around the world. Dreamlifecenters.com is where it's all happening. You can get in and follow and see what God's doing. And Eddie James, you'll be with us in East London, yes. South Africa. Yes. All right, it's going to be good. Oh. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory. For the You turn it for good. You turn it for good. Come on, everybody, declare it. You take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. Hey, 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 yeah. You take what the enemy meant for evil, and you turn it for good. You turn it for good. Come on, everybody, declare it tonight. You take what the enemy meant for evil. You turn it for good. You turn it for good. I'm gonna see a victory. I'm gonna see a victory for the battle. See a victory. I'm gonna see a victory.